morning, honey. Ah, good morning, Lieutenant. This is the man that shot me. <laughs> he fancies me like mad. <laughs> Perhaps it is the apron. Your cheeks are a very good, fresh color today. <laughs> and you have an impish look in your eye. <laughs> it has suddenly disappeared. Come on, drink. What a good idea. <laughs> open this door. Edith, open the door. I have found it. I have found it. <laughs> I have found the will of my late husband. There is no need to make such a song and dance about it. Uh, give it to me, Edith. Uh, after all, I am the executor. It is not addressed to you. No, but it would go without saying that Rennie would want his brother as an executor. It has gone without saying. <laughs> Gather round, everyone, while I read to you the last will and testament of my dear departed husband, who was shot by the Germans. Orders, you know. <laughs> he leave everything to me. I, René Artois, being of sound mind. I would dispute that for a start. <laughs> do hereby leave all of which I stand possessed to my dear and faithful wife, who has comforted me and filled me with joy during the happy days of my marriage. I wrote that on the honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful phrase. <laughs> Look, there is something written on the back. Ah, no. P.S. to Yvette. <laughs> I can hardly read it. It is as if his hand was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> to Yvette, who has served so devotedly under me, <laughs> I leave the collapsible so far in the parlor. <laughs> that so far is not collapsible. It is, unless you put a book under it. <laughs> PPS to Maria. I leave this small billiard table, which has given us both so many moments of pleasure. <laughs> I never saw you playing in there. Oh, if René would make me shut the door and put a chair under the knob. <laughs> what were you doing that you did not want to be interrupted? Why ask me? I am dead, remember? <laughs> anyway, he has done the right thing by me. Everything is now mine to have and to hold till death do me part. He was a good man. There was something soft and sensitive about him. Although, like you, he could be a little distant at times. We are a cautious family. We will drink to his memory. Yeah. Well, do not pour too much. That is my best cognac. His best cognac. And now, it is my best cognac. To his memory. To his memory. memory. Oh. It is over. It is done. What are you up to now? I am going to buy myself a new hat. Why do you want a new hat? You must remember, I am a rich widow in the prime of my life. This evening, Mama will promenade me in the square. Some handsome man will gaze upon me in my new hat. Who is that, he will ask. It is the rich widow Artois, they will reply. Oh, how young and slender she looks. I must pay my respects to her, he will say. And maybe tomorrow morning, he will be at my door, bearing a beautiful bouquet of sweet-smelling roses. Provided his guide dog can find the owls. <laughs> is the coast clear? We are 50 miles from the coast. <laughs> Something very important has just come up. How long have you been out there? <laughs> the two airmen have left the nunnery. Good. Now perhaps Yvette and I can continue to discuss the menu for tonight. They left because the Germans came to search for them. They are on the run. Well, that is your problem, not mine. I don't care if I never see their stupid faces ever again. Hello. It is the airman. <laughs> I would never have known. <laughs> well, look, do not let them come in here. You speak the language, tell them to go away. 
Go. <coughs> now, listen, chaps. rene has been awfully decent putting you up here, but you have outstayed your welcome. We, we, we can't walk around as nuns all day. <laughs> the daddies keep trying to chat us up. <laughs> Didn't they suspect the moustache? You think mine's big, you should see the mother superiors. <laughs> We're not going back to the nunnery. Fairfax mucked up his needlework and we had to spend hours scrubbing the steps. <laughs> Look! <laughs> Why is he showing you his knees? He was a scrubber at the nunnery. <laughs> no wonder they threw him out. <laughs> well, no, tell them to go away. Listen to me, René. You are a vital link in the escape route mm. for British Airmen. This is a safe house. Not for me, it isn't. <laughs> Let us come to the crunch. The crunch? The nitty-gritty. <laughs> are you a collaborator or are you with the resistance? Is that thing loaded? I am desperate. I have one up the spout. <laughs> that would make you desperate. <laughs> well? Look, I am on your side, Michel. At the same time, I have a business to run. Now, I cannot go around being rude to the Germans. Not in front of their faces, anyway. I will put out my tongue at them from time to time when their backs are turned, or put a little extra salt in their soup. But we must be reasonable. It is the Colonel and the Captain. <gasps> the Colonel is backing under the tree. Oh, no. I think they are coming in here. Oh my God, he must not see them. Get them out of there. Through the window. No, quick. they can't go that way. There is a driver with a gun. Oh, quick, through here. Uh, René, the colonel and captain are approaching. Well, keep them busy while I think of a good reason why I've got two nuns in my back room. <laughs> the organ fund with my reputation? Go, go, keep them busy. Greetings, colonel. Uh, is there any refreshment that you would like? That is not on a high shelf. No, thank you, Maria. We have business with René. Is he in the back room? No. Good. We wish to be private. We will wait in there while you find him. Oh, my God. Quick, get them down. Uh, take these, Yvette. Take these. Uh -huh. And them out. Maria, Maria, <laughs> stand back. Would you rather wait in my room? Stand aside. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? <laughs> René is having a special service for his late departed brother. He's not dead. The church don't know that. They were going to have a big one in the cathedral, but it's worked out cheaper. <laughs> His lips are muttering in silent prayer. It is very moving. In that case, take your hat off. <laughs> Who is Frank Harris? He was a prophet. Hans, give it to me. <laughs> I'd no idea they played leapfrog in heaven. Not now, Maria. No, it is Michelle from the Resistance. Uh, what does she want? Well, how do I know? Come on, come follow me. Michelle? Michelle, where are you hiding? I am here. <laughs> now listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. <laughs> I have good news. I have come here to collect the British airmen. I expect you will be very glad to get rid of them. You can say that again. I don't suppose she will. <laughs> Further instructions will be sent to you by secret messenger, disguised as a simple farm worker. Why do I need further instructions? I thought this was the end of it all. You forget your position. Your humble cafe is the headquarters of the organization to assist escaping airmen to add explosives, to pass messages, and to organize sabotage. It is all happening here. <laughs> I hope you tell people who want to marry you the sort of trouble you can get them into. It is like getting into bed with a time bomb. I have ended at it. I expect it put them off. Oh, they cannot wait to light the fuse. <laughs> it is Yvette Maria. Oh, does nobody hear that? Shut up, you silly old bat! Do you want to wake up the old neighborhood? Get them down. Oh, 
I am weak. I am feeble. I want to see my daughter married before the good Lord sends an angel to take me away. Oh, my God, already they have come for me. Oh, what two of them? I must be more important than I thought. <laughs> but, but why is that one carrying a candle? Because where you are going, it will be very dark. Oh, <laughs> not my mother likes that. It is the airmen, mother. Oh. We hid them while you were asleep. Oh, oh, that's, 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 that's. Oh, I'm going mad. I am seeing flashing knobs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello. This is Night Talk receiving you loud and not very clear. <laughs> Pass your message over. The flashing bed knobs are not reliable. The flashing bed knobs are not reliable. Get the code book. What does that mean? It means that we have been trying to get you for three days. <laughs> My wife's mother does not understand flashing knobs. <laughs> Over. Hold on while we try to decode your message to find out what it means. It means my wife's mother is a silly old bat who does not understand flashing bed knobs. Now pass your message over. The loved ones will be carried away in a chariot. Even in heaven, they know about my bad legs. <laughs> this means the plane is coming tonight to pick up the British airmen. I say, chaps, there's a plane coming for you tonight. Who, oh, wacko? <laughs> well, get a move on, it's Toodle Pip, and back to dear old Blighty. Good day. <laughs> Give the signal. What signal? Two hoots of the owl. Edith, I am a cafe owner. I do not do impersonations. <laughs> well, I will do it. To it to To it to <laughs> What sort of an owl was that? Apparently one that is unappreciated by the bird up there. <laughs> a critic, perhaps. <laughs> Don't move. I have four baskets with me. It is hard to get good help these days. Walk this way. And them out. What are these for? These are your covers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. The cover is to be mushroom pickers. If you are stopped, you are on your way to the fields to pick mushrooms for the restaurant. Ah, this is a good cover. The best ones pop up at night. <laughs> Give them the guns. They're loaded, but they're not cocked. Why do we need guns? Mushrooms do not fight back. If the Germans find you helping British airmen to escape, you will have to shoot your way out. Where are the airmen? They are safely hidden. Follow me. Henriette. Oh, we are going to get wet. Sissy! Follow me. Inside. It is I, Leclerc. I am disguised as a simple milky maid. You looked the same when you were a simple farmhand. It is the war, monsieur. We are very short of staff. Where are the airmen? I shall take you to them. This is Dadia. Here's Claudette. Here is Sophia. Bridget and 
Yes. Flight Lieutenant Fairfax. Hey, yeah. What is he doing here? He is waiting uh, to be milky. Where is Castas? I'm in charge of the canteen. <laughs> this end. The other seems a bit small. So that is what happened to my washing up gloves. I don't mind my asking, what are we all doing here? The plane is due in ten minutes. It will land the other side of the woods across the road. The road is controlled by the Germans. Should we encounter them, they will not suspect six mushroom pickers and an herd of cows. Uh, are you trying to tell me that the Germans will not suspect that cow? <laughs> Not when he is mixed amongst the others? Monsieur Leclerc, it is time. You and the farmer must lead out the cows. Immediately. Big man. I think it is a transport plane. René, how can that great big plane land in this little field? It is not landing. Look. <gasps> <laughs> they have released two parachutes. They are going to draw up the other side of the wood. Quick! They must have landed somewhere near here. What are you doing? I'm going no further until someone tells me what's going on. <laughs> I agree. Oh, I see something. <laughs> it is a copper. I say, is anyone down there? Oh, my God. Not another stupid Englishman. <laughs> I say, are you from HQ? We rather thought the plane would land. Change of plan. We're trying out a new escape package. We'd better get you down, I suppose. I seem to be a bit stuck. If Rennie held me up in his strong arms, I could reach up and pull him down. He could hold me in his strong arms. Oh, but uh, I might drop you, precious. <laughs> Come along. This way. Now. Uh, up you get. Uh, quickly, Maria. <laughs> One of the barmaids has pulled the policeman's trousers down. <laughs> it's all go, isn't it? <laughs> what? What? Oh, no. oh. <laughs> well, that was all rather exciting. Why have they sent us another Englishman? They sent me over because I speak French. Thank heavens for that. They have sent him because he speaks French. Oh. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Do we have our own tongue? <laughs> <laughs> I have brung greetings from British intelligence headquarters. What does he say? I think he brings greetings from intelligence headquarters. I have disguised as policeman, so I am able to move a boot with complete freedom. Do you think he will get away with that accent? As long as he does not speak, yes. We will tell everyone that he comes from a remote village in the country. On the outskirts of Peking. We picked up this package. <laughs> This is the escope package. You must heed it in your sealer. What was that? 
The escape package. You must add it in the cellar. How does he know I have a cellar? In London, we are not stupid. We know every move you moke. <laughs> Do we have a key or a tin opener? We do not lock it. After all, who would nick an armoured car? Wear this. What for? If the resistance take a pot shot at you, it will bounce off. Bounce off? I am not sticking my head out of there. I'll drive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just that little knob in front. Oh, uh, Give it a bit more choke. Uh, ah. Forward! <laughs> I said forward, you're going backwards! <laughs> Did I hit something? The colonel's car! He will do his nut! <laughs> Never mind. He will blame the resistance and shoot a couple of peasants. <laughs> what am I saying? How easy it is to slip into the ways of being a Nazi. <laughs> Coming. Oh dear, pass me a shell. Well, where are they? They must be in here somewhere. To try the glove compartment. <laughs> uh, have you found anything? Just some ladies' underwear. <laughs> some shaving lotion. <laughs> well, ah, I have one. Good. Well, hurry up. It is getting nearer. I think it is loaded. Now, I have to aim for the third wagon from the end. Yes, good luck. Put your fingers in your ears. There may be a big bang. <laughs> I can see it. One, two, three. That's the one. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Another shell. <laughs> can, can you get a little bit nearer? No, I cannot. One, two, three. You have blown up the signal box. <laughs> I think the barrel is bent. <laughs> there goes the train. There goes Hitler's sausage. <laughs> we should catch it up further down the line. No. The way I drive, I would never catch it. And the way you shoot, you would never hit it. <laughs> I think we go home. <laughs> <laughs> 